We've now talked about Tumblr, Blogger, and Weebly. I want to briefly touch on the idea of WordPress but because I want to set up the idea that our next podcast is actually going to pull apart WordPress.org and WordPress.com because they're very different. But can you tell me why WordPress is so good, its weaknesses and its strengths? Uh, because it's really one of the most preferred blogs in the world, isn't it? Yes, you're right about that. Um, WordPress is not the oldest or the youngest of the bunch, but perhaps the largest. Yoast SEO infographic uh, put out some facts about WordPress. March 2012, WordPress is on is on 72.4 million different websites around the globe. And WordPress is the most used and popular content management system in existence. And over 352 million people view more than 2.5 billion pages in an average month on a WordPress.com on WordPress.com. So big numbers. Huge numbers. And and, and the great thing is WordPress.com is free and it has 210 themes to choose from, but we're back to the themes. Um, and you're going to choose a theme. You're not going to have a lot of customizing capability with in the theme. There are some important things that help WordPress stand out or stand above. Uh, it has great SEO right out of the box. You don't have to do anything extra. In fact, it's called its Jetpack. WordPress Jetpack, and it takes care of about 80 to 90 percent of the mechanics of the SEO for you. When you're doing your blog or creating content, it's set up in such a way that it's step by step taking you through and allowing you to fill in information that optimize it for search. Don't worry, we've got another whole podcast about the power of That's SEO right. and what that means. But basically what it means is Google can find the site when people are looking and it gives you preference when people are looking for keywords. SEO and search engine optimization and this idea of being indexed is so important in this whole discussion of which blog you choose. And WordPress does it really, really well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. You can't upgrade the WordPress by paying for a pro version and that just gives you 10 gigabytes more server space and allows some customization of the themes but for the most part it has excellent analytics built in between the SEO and the analytics it makes it very easy to track your visitors when they visit your blog yeah and we're going to talk about the the WordPress family in a completely separate podcast because this is so important there's wordpress.com which is free and cool, and there's WordPress.org, which is unbelievably awesome, but maybe a tad complex. And I would actually say that's probably WordPress uh, maybe only weakness, the fact that it can be, if you're absolutely uninitiated and completely non-techy, very complex for the, for the, the new user. Kind yeah, of. WordPress.org, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, definitely hard to use for the new user, but the stuff you can do with it is incredible, and that's what we're talking about today. Ease of use versus SEO, you know, mm -hmm. functionality versus sexiness. You know, you've got to make that decision. Do you want your page to look awesome, or do you want it to be easy to use? Right. Do you want it to be simple to set up, or do you want it to have great SEO? I mean, these are all very important questions, but it's important information to digest and come back to it. You know, mm -hmm. have a have a have a cup of tea and, and uh, you know have a rethink. But the, the idea that we've given you the essence of why you need a blog and the four major blogs in the world today. It's, it's I'm very proud of what we've done today, Chelsea. Yeah. You want to wrap it up and tell us uh, where where this is all going? I think I want to leave our audience with some last critical information when we talk about blogging and the tips to increase your SEO or search engine ranking. And we, and again, they don't need to be taking notes because, as you've mentioned before, they're in our PDFs that are uh, attached to this video cast. Make sure to use short, easy to read post titles that accurately describe your posts and what they're about. Uh, use narrow and specific keywords that help interested readers find your site. So you want to identify those very specific keywords. Be sure to use those terms once or twice in the post, assuming that they're relevant. So don't use a keyword that's not actually in your post, at least once. 
but don't make it there 50 times either. So you want to drop it into the post itself a couple of times because that's what Google's going to track. It's going to see whether the relevant keyword matches the content that it can search. Be sure to publish new posts or update your content regularly, even if you have a website. Because as I said before, if you don't generate new content, Google goes to see old content, your search engine rank tanks. So you want to keep posting up to date and, and original new content. And if you do have a website, it's beneficial to have a blog component that you update more often. So don't rely on your website as the only thing. As we've said before, and we'll repeat over and over again, a core portion of your, your strategy for internet marketing and promoting yourself and building your brand will be centered around your blog. So you want to make sure that your blog is the one that you update often. Google searches it for new content. And promote your blog to your social media circles. You know, as I said before, allow those sharing icons on your blog. Encourage people to share out your content and cross-promote your content from your blog on all your channels. Unbelievable. We've, we've chatted for almost an hour, but we've really pulled apart the idea of why you need a blog, how the four major ones differ, and we've set up perfectly the, really the, the, uh, the sequel to this podcast, which is how does WordPress.org differ from WordPress.com and why you really do need to consider this as, you, as your blog because it is so powerful. So we'll, we'll come back to that in the next podcast. We help you get found fast to build your personal brand, enhance your glamour, increase your popularity, and become more famous. I'm your co-host, Chelsea Venom, wishing you a more glamorous lifestyle using search engine marketing bigger than Texas. Brilliant, and we'll see you later.